Okay, here is the backdrop or the background that I'm gonna be working with. I just took everything off. This used to be a house. You can see this um, storefront in a previous video. I'll link a couple of them up above. It was kind of a pain in the butt to get the curtains off. I must have like hot glued them to the wall, so that was kind of annoying. But as you can see, I had to put some spackle on some spots, but this is a fairly large area to work with. I probably could have made this into like four storefronts on this wall, but this will work out perfect for the movie theater. I am gonna be using one of these white shelves. I'm probably gonna use two of them. I'm gonna use one in the back against the wall and then one like up front here for like the actual concession area. Okay, here is after the first coat of the Kills primer. As you can see, the maroon from the house is still bleeding through. I will probably have to do a couple of coats to cover that up. The rest of it, I'll probably just do like one more coat. So I could probably get this done tonight. Um, hopefully I'll get this done tonight so that tomorrow then I can start painting. So for right now, I am going to continue working on the concession food. Okay, next I wanna show you the different kind of like food and different concession stand items that I'm gonna be working on. The first thing I am gonna show you is I'm gonna do like a soda fountain. So I just got these little plastic cups from the Dollar Tree, um, orange ribbon for the orange pop, blue ribbon for water, and then I got this little portable um, hanging storage basket I'm gonna make that into a soda machine now I'm not sure what color I'll paint that maybe like red um, and I probably I'm not sure if I'm gonna use paper or paint but I probably will just end up painting that and then I kept racking my brain like what am I gonna use for the cups for the little kids with the straws and then I thought about it and I'm simply just gonna go to like Target go to their like concession area and buy two small drinks and then that way I'll have the cups with the lids and the straw and it's like two dollars and then moving on i'm going to do a popcorn machine so i got some scoops from the dollar tree i got a salt and pepper shaker set this is plastic i'm going to put um, rice in here i believe and pretend that it's salt and then i simply from this um, paper store by me i got four pieces of cardboard and i'm going to make this into a popcorn machine I also did order packing peanuts from Amazon. I believe it was $6.99 and those will arrive tomorrow and I'm gonna use those as my little like popcorn pieces. And then from that same shop that I got this cardboard, I got these boxes for 10 cents each. I got four red, four gray boxes. I think what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna make these into candy boxes. Now, originally I thought that I would probably just buy you know, candy from the Dollar Tree and just use the boxes, like take the candy out of it. But I like this idea because A, it's only 10 cents and I'm pretty sure I can go on Google and find, you know, um, clip art of different candy and then just glue it on here. So that should cost me next to nothing. And then over here, I am going to do two like pizza boxes. From that same store again, I got these pizza boxes for 50 cents each. 
So I'm gonna use those. I got two round cardboard disc for 10 cents each. Those are gonna be my pizza bases. And then at Joanne Fabrics, they had eight pieces of felt for $2. And so I got like a beige one for the crust, the red one for the tomato sauce, the white one for the cheese, and then the dark maroon one for pepperoni. Next I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do some hot dogs as well. So I have two other pieces of felt. I got these two, I believe from Hobby Lobby, probably for like a quarter each. From that paper store, I got two pieces of this crinkled paper I'm gonna use for the actual hot dog. This felt is gonna be used for the bun. And then I got two containers from that store for I believe five or 10 cents each. And then I had two paper towel rolls. I'm gonna cut these and use one will be two hot dogs. And then the other one is gonna be two different buns. And then the last thing I wanted to show you, I'm gonna make nachos. So again, from that paper store, I got two nacho containers. These were either 10 cents or like a quarter each. I got a 12 pack of condiment cups that has um, that comes with lids. So I'm gonna put one in there for like the cheese. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. Maybe I'll put um, like yellow felt in there to look like cheese. I got two more of the larger cardboard disc for 10 cents each. And then I got two pieces of cardstock. So what I'm gonna do is cut triangles out of um, the cardboard and then glue this on so that it, it's yellow like a nacho chip, I guess. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so I'm gonna make the hot dog bun. What I did is I just cut a portion of that paper towel roll. And I think what I'm gonna do is um, hot glue it like on the inside and go around. We'll see how that looks. Okay, here is how the hot dog bun turned out. I simply just cut that paper towel roll and then I hot glued felt on it. So that's the bun. And then here's the hot dog. Again, another paper towel roll with that um, paper I showed you earlier. And so let's see if it fits inside here. And so that's the finished product. I think it looks pretty good. It looks more like a sausage, but again, this was like, I think five or 10 cents for this. And then, I mean, the paper towel roll was free. It was just leftover. And then the felt piece was, what, 20 cents? And then that paper, I believe that paper was like 50 cents, though. So I made two of these to go with the concession food as well. So now I'm starting on the pizza. My first step was I took the cardboard pieces and then just hot glued them to the felt. And then I will cut it out once it dries. This will be my base. And then I'm going to add the sauce, the cheese, and then the pepperoni. I'm not sure um, how I'm gonna do the cheese, if I'm just gonna do like a white circle or if I'm gonna cut it in strips or whatnot. And then I assembled the one box. I'm gonna have to hot glue um, this piece, like this onto this to make it stick. But otherwise, you guys, this is so cute. And it was like 50 cents. So I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. Okay, and here is the finished product. So as you can see, I mean, it's really thin, but I think it turned out really cute. I just simply put like a dolly, I hot glued a dolly in the bottom of that, put that in there and then shut it. And this is what it looks like. So I think this will be a great addition to the concession stand. Okay, so here is that cardboard piece. I have like a little yellow foam triangle. I'm just gonna cut out or trace several different triangles on here. I wanna show you the finished product. I think I got eight or nine triangles and then I simply just hot, um, modge podge that paper. I don't know if I'll do something on the other side, but for now I just have the one side. And then for the cheese, even though it's orange, probably should be yellow. Even though it's orange, it probably should be yellow. I just put some ribbon in there for now, and then I just put it inside this container. This is kind of small for this, but that's all right. I mean, everything fits in. I think these just look so cute. So what I'm gonna do is trace the rest and then glue them on the paper. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to do the popcorn machine. I have four pieces of the cardboard. Now I did buy these already like pre-cut um, from that um, card shop I was telling you guys about. These, I believe, were like 50 cents each, so I probably could have gotten the box cheaper than $2, but I like the fact that there's already a shape to them. So my thought process behind this is that I'm going to cut a big square on each of the three sides. The back side will remain open, and then, actually, I probably need one more because I need something for either the bottom or the top. Um, but I'm going to cut out a big square in the middle, and then I'm going to put contact paper so that it's see-through 
on both sides. I only want the back area accessible um, to get the popcorn out. So whoever is playing, I guess, like cashier, concession stand worker, would be able to scoop the um, packing noodles out. So let's get started. So I finished putting, um, cutting out all four squares and then I put the contact paper in the middle. Now it looks a little cloudy with the two of them together, but that's okay. I mean, at least I think you'll be able to see in it somewhat. And then I wasn't sure if I was gonna paint the outside of it. So what I did is I used white cardstock and just kind of cut like a picture frame outline. Now, as you can see, this is not perfect. My cutting, obviously, something to be desired. <laughs> so my solution is that I'm gonna use this gold border and I'm just gonna put it around all four sides just to kind of outline it. Because on my storefront, I'm going to have gold on the very top of the building, and then I'm going to have gold on the bottom. I may do the cash register backings in gold as well, so I just wanted to give it a little bit of pop of color throughout, and I love how shiny this is, so I think that'll look really nice. Now, I still have not decided what color to do the actual um, storefront. I'm still deciding on that, so we'll see. So I have hot glued the three sides together and I put it on a base and I just put the white cardstock down here too. So this will be the back side. Now this piece of cardboard fits perfectly across, but as you can see, it's too low. So I'm gonna have to get another piece of cardboard. I think I have extra cardboard in my house. I want it probably like this high, a little bit higher so that the popcorn doesn't fall out. And then I think I'm just gonna put a flat top across it. Um, I have the white cutouts to go in the front. I'm gonna put the gold border. And then I'll probably put some kind of like popcorn sign in the very top. So I have taped off the storefront. So what I'm gonna do here, this bottom area right here is gonna be dark gray. And then where that tape is, I'm gonna do a white stripe. This right here is gonna be navy. It's gonna be the countertop. The above area right here is going to be a darker gray and I haven't decided what to do on the two sides yet. I may do white, I may do yellow. Um, I'll probably do those last though. So as I'm waiting for that paint to dry, that middle area right there is a lighter gray and then down below is the dark gray. I came across this um, bookshelf thing that I had bought from Target, the Target dollar spot. I want to say, yeah, it was $3. I'm thinking maybe I can put the candy on that. It looks like it does have like a double layer. So let me get this organized and I will let you know if I'm gonna use it. You guys, I am so happy I put this together. For some reason, I thought this thing was a lot bigger than what it was. I guess I'd be disappointed if I was using it for actual like holding books because maybe it would hold like two books, but this is perfect for my little candy thing. So in order to cover up this little featuring thing, I'm just gonna hot glue another um, little gold border on that. And then I'm waiting for one more candy to dry. I did um, Mod Podge the cover onto the box and then I Mod Podge over the cover as well. And these boxes are great because they're super sturdy. Unlike I, if I would have bought the candy boxes from Dollar Tree or you know anywhere, they all are the same boxes. But this one, this is like a Macy's box and I'm assuming maybe it was like a jewelry box. And that store has some clearance out for 10 cents. So hopefully this will last longer. I don't think I need to seal it um, with hot glue because as you can see, it really doesn't come apart, the two pieces. So we'll see how it holds up with the kids, whether or not I need to reinforce it or not. And I wanted to show you some things that I had printed out. Um, I simply just used the Canva um, app and then I put like clip art on here. This soda thing is really cute, but this one might be okay this size, but the other ones I made are too big. So I need to make them smaller because I wanted to do a little sign. I'll show you like this. I found this and I wanted to put like a cold drinks and a candy sign and stuff like that. So I wanted to put visuals. So I have the pizza, I have the nachos, I have the hot dog. Again, these are way too big. And then I tried to do this popcorn because I do have these popcorn containers. Um, it looks better on camera than it does in person. In person, it's pretty fuzzy or blurry, so I'm not sure if I'll stay using this. I'll see. Maybe if I print this out on cardstock, this is just on regular paper. I didn't want to waste cardstock until I knew I had the correct sizes. But I want to make, um, I'm not going to do five of these. So I'll probably do, I'll probably maybe like combine, I think I'm going to do two. 
or maybe I may actually only be doing one. I have to look and see um, the setup that I had printed out, but I love this um, color scheme. So I'm gonna try to duplicate this. So I finished the marquee sign. I don't even know if that's what it would be called. That's what I'm calling it, guys, that I need to hang up. It is simply just three different, um, or actually I probably only used two black poster boards from the Dollar Tree, the foam boards. I put the gold border on there that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I bought this package of cutouts from Hobby Lobby as well for $3.99. I probably used a 40% coupon on this and then just simply use some of the cutouts and put them on here. I'm going to use like a mounting tape. That's why I put like the two tabs on the end to hold it in place. Um, hopefully that should work. I am almost done. I need to do two of my signs here. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. I laminated all my little like food pieces. The larger ones I did end up using, I'm going to put those on the shelf um, on the bottom part of the shelf and that's where I'll put the actual food and then I did smaller ones which I can't seem to find but I found the pizza I did smaller pieces that I'm going to use my thought process on this was that I would put it on here with like prices we'll see otherwise I may put like I don't know what I'm gonna put in the background of that I think I'm gonna try to do the food and drink prices on that I have two of those and then I still have these two um, scrapbook papers that I could use as well. And then over here, I did cut out two of the cash registers and then I'm gonna put like a little border and then I think I'm just gonna make some lines with a permanent marker. And then those are gonna be hung at the top of the blue, um, like right there. So I just have a few more things to do and then we should be done. And real quick, I wanted to show you how the pot machine turned out. This was that box that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. I simply just painted it gray. I painted the inside of it white, put a black poster board sheet in here, the gold border, and then just found um, some clip art, I laminated that. These are the plastic cups with the ribbon. And then again, I put the same clip art on the bottom and then found this clip art that I laminated as well. I mean, it doesn't look the greatest. I mean, it's cute, but we'll see how it goes. So I hung up the top part, I think that looks so good. And then I'm doing, I just like put painter's tape just to kind of play around to see what position do I want them in. I like the gold behind there, so I think I'm gonna stick with the gold. I need to get either black little stickers to write like prices or I may just use like a permanent marker. I'll probably go permanent marker route. If it doesn't work out, I do have another piece of gold paper. So I can always test it to see if it even works. And then here's my little cash registers. I gotta put that black border on the bottom. I did put like a total sign um, there. I think I'll do it on the other side. I need to go to Dollar Tree because I need to get more of those black stickers. And this right here is chipped. I mean, what do you expect from the dollar store? So I need to go back and get one of those. Um, so I think that's it for these two things. I'm gonna run up to the Dollar Tree right now and then come back and finish. Right, guys here's the finished project of the movie theater storefront that you all had voted on I think it turned out really cute so let me just start in the back and we'll go over everything 
So the marquee sign, again, that was just two black poster, foam poster boards from the Dollar Tree. Put some gold border on there. And then all those little decals was a set for $3.99 from Hobby Lobby. I simply just hot glued the two sides together with the middle, hot glued the um, border on the bottom, and then put little tabs on the side and then used wall mounting tape and stuck it on there. I also wanna show you, I put, let's see if you can see it here. I put a little Dollar Tree light underneath there as well for it to shine. The two signs are from the Dollar Tree. I used gold um, poster board for the backing. Those little things right there, that is um, construction paper or cardstock paper from the paper store, 50 cents each. And then the little green and orange signs were like a pack of like, I swear, like 50 from the Dollar Tree in different sizes. I simply just wrote on there, popcorn and nachos on the one side, pizza, hot dog, and soda on the other. The vinyl letters are from the Dollar Tree. And then I have clip art that I expanded. Um, I just printed that out on regular printing paper and then laminated it. So I put that on both sides. I used more of that gold poster board for the cash registers. Again, those black vinyl letters are from the Dollar Tree. And then I had leftover black border from a previous project. I used that on the bottom. Here is that soda machine. That box was from the Dollar Tree. The cups I got from the Dollar Tree, the ribbon I got from the Dollar Tree. And I just found clip art and cut that out, laminated it, glued it on there, put some more of that gold border on there as well. I went and purchased two small cups from Target and I didn't use, like I just needed cups and I kept thinking like, how am I gonna get cups? And then it dawned on me just to go to like Target, buy two small drinks and then just not fill it up. So I did that. This popcorn box, there's actually two of them. I believe I got for 10 cents from that card store. I always buy all my stuff from. So there's that option for popcorn. And then the cash register is like a vintage Fisher Price cash register that I have. The kids love playing with this. I was gonna buy a new one, but you know what? Look through the stuff that you have. That is definitely something that I always try to like use stuff that I have. As you can see, these two white cubbies I have and they work perfectly here. Normally I have them on both sides and I have the couch in the middle. So this is very versatile. I can remove all of this stuff and the backing can stay the way it is. The kids wouldn't touch it. I can put my couch back in front of it. I didn't want anything permanently coming out of the wall there just because this is where I use my couch down here. So I think this is a great solution. The front area is that popcorn machine again. And then I simply just put rice inside a little salt and pepper shaker that I got from the Dollar Tree. These two gold popcorn, they're like hard plastic containers I got from Walmart, 98 cents each. This popcorn thing, again, came with that clip art that was up on the marquee sign. And so did the star. And then here's more of that gold border I had. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to show you was I put packing peanuts on the bottom of here. And then I just have the little scoop for the popcorn. The candy box was from Target Dollar Spot. It was $3. It's made to hold books. I simply just put my candy in there. Again, these are those boxes for 10 cents that I got from the card store. Simply just found um, candy clip art, um, color, or downloaded it, expanded it, and laminated it and put it on there. I kept it, I put it on there with um, Mod Podge. Again, that gold border, those um, vinyl letters are from the Dollar Tree. And then down below, I did put three of those lights. So you can see them right here and they just go off. So I put three of those lights, one underneath each one. Now this one, the way I did it, it doesn't have a backing. And this one, and then these two. That's just how I've always had it. So I didn't even mess with it. I just left it how it is. I put the three little um, food pieces on here so they would know where to put the food. Now, I haven't decided if I want to just tape these down, which I probably will, because I definitely will use this bookshelf for other things. So I don't want to permanently put something down on here and confuse the kids. So while they're using the movie theater prop, I'll just tape this down here. And then again, here is that pizza, the felt pizza that I put in here. So I put one up on top, one on the bottom. Here are the two hot dogs that I made. Again, one on top, one on the bottom. And then here is the nachos. Again, I just modge podge um, scrapbook paper on top of triangles that I had cut out 
of cards, um, cardboard. I got these little containers from the Dollar Tree. And then this was leftover confetti paper from Easter. And I put that in there as the cheese. So all in all, I did this, I think between, if I calculated it right, between like $46 and $50. Now, I did have to buy Kills paint, which was... I think $8. So definitely under $60, I did all of this because I already had the bookshelves. I already had the yellow paint, the gray paint, the blue paint. And so it was just simple little things, mostly from the Dollar Tree and then that card store and Hobby Lobby that I purchased everything else. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I definitely am going to be redoing this since I do have the other area now for the hospital. There's no need to have this. And that little teddy bear is moved over because it was over on this side. But So I'm going to redo that. I'm probably going to do that into the barn. And then when you guys had voted, the barn and the laundry mat tied. So I'm definitely going to change up the flower shop and make that a laundry mat. So stay tuned for future videos on those. Let me know if you guys like this video, if you like seeing behind the process of it. Because I will do... Um, videos then for the laundry mat in the farm if you like it if not that's okay it doesn't hurt my feelings I'm still gonna do them and I'll probably show them in a house tour and that being said thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video